Yo, what up, you guys? Bacardi here, and today we're gonna be checking out the album for Yena's Smiley album. You know, yeah, all the B sides today. So, of course, we listened to Smiley yesterday or two days ago, whenever this gets uploaded. Um, and now it's time to listen to all the B sides. Yeah. So, remembering the highlight medley, uh, the ones I'm looking forward to are "Before Anyone Else," "Pretty Boys," and "Vacay." Luck to you is like the secondary song. I guess the secondary like performing one. So I'm excited to see, you know, what that's going to sound like because, you know, they went with that one. So probably should be really good. Okay, but let's get into the one I'm really excited for before anyone else. Starting this off right. Let's go. Yo. Talk about an opening song. Let's go. I said it. This was the one I was really excited for. It sounded great in the medley. And hearing the whole thing, I'm like, yes, it lived up to the hype. She sounded great. Really getting to showcase vocals here. The instrumental is great. Just the vibe of the song, the mood. It just starts off so chill. It does sound like, you know, something that maybe should have been close to the end of the album because it's so relaxing. Uh, it just, you know, puts you in this calm space. But, I mean, as an opening song, it's really cool. It sets sort of a tone. And then, of course, you know, Smiley being the next song sort of kicks off the rest of the album. 
but with this, it's just, it's really nice, man. Um, you know, I mean, the lyrics are really nice. Um, vocals, everything. The top comment says this song is for her Eyes One members and fans. Which, now thinking about it, now I'm kind of even going through the lyrics a little bit. Makes sense. Makes sense. And then it makes this song <laughs> hit on a different level. It's like, oh, okay. Now I get what this instrumental and mood is about. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. If it is that, if it is for the other members and, you know, her fans, yeah, it, that makes it even that much better, you know? Um, given the mood, again, and then you add in these lyrics. Yeah, that's, uh, that's heartfelt. Really nice song, man. Really nice. Uh, definitely gonna be one of my favorites from the album. I can already tell. Um, I love everything about it. It's just, just really good. Okay, next song, Luck To You. Let's go. Continuing the pop rock scene. <laughs> okay. What? Yo. Okay. So in the medley, I was like, yeah, and you know, and this song sounds okay. And you know, I'm going to wait till I listen to the full song to really, you know, talk about it. I, I was not that hyped about this song, but yo, listening to it completely blew me away. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. Now I know why this is the other song that she's going to be performing. Yo, from the lyrics, you know, the sentiment, like I, I saw the title Luck To You, but then I saw the X, I was like, hmm, seems interesting. But now, seeing it, you know, reading these lyrics, I'm like, oh, I get it, I 
get it. Then you add in that instrumental. And again, we're going pop rock, maybe even like heavier than, of course, Smiley, but uh, certain parts. But yo, the sound is just good. And she sounds so good on it. There's a little part where she does like a small little rap. That bridge portion? Um, the chorus? The, the whole damn song just completely blew me away. I didn't expect any of this. Um, but I love it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, this one, this one really surprised me. This is one that, um, Given these lyrics, you know, it's going to be made for like a certain mood, maybe. But for me, I can just enjoy the song by itself. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who can, like, relate to this song. Like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I'm thinking about that one person. But, man, even regardless of the lyrics, I'm just amazed that, again, her vocals, how well she sounds on, I want to say a genre, but, you know, this is like pop rock, whatever. She just sounds really good on something like this. Um, I love that she threw in a, a rap portion in there. I was like, yes, yes, that fueled me, you know. Um, but, again, from beginning to end, uh, I'm just going to say it. It's another one that's, like, up there with, like, favorite. And that's on first listen. Um, man. Uh, really, really good. <laughs> that's all I can say. Yeah, this is just, uh, this is one that I can just put on repeat for a while. Mm hmm For real. This is, it's really well made. I want to know, like, was she inspired by anyone? Or a, an American artist, maybe? Um, or does she just listen to this stuff, like, in her own time, you know? And that's something she wanted to do for this album. I'm wondering. Of course... I have to watch the showcase, you know, and like the interview portion maybe to get more of that. But still, if you guys know, you know, let me know. Uh, maybe some inspiration she had. Not only for the music video and Smiley, but even like these songs on the album. Okay, next song, Pretty Boys. Let's go. I had a feeling this one would be good. This part. The production for this album, though. <laughs> Yo, tell me there's a lot of forms of this too. But that's so crazy, now I get the wah. 
He's on fire. Okay, I said I was really looking forward to this one. And again, another one that doesn't disappoint. Not only does it, dis does it not disappoint, it's even better than when I heard that little portion of it. Man, okay, I really like this one. Mainly because of the instrumental. But then again, I keep mentioning it. She's on fire throughout this album. Just the thing she's doing with her voice, but just doing different genres and other portions like throwing in little raps in there the chorus for this song is just you hear it it'll get stuck in your head but i mean throughout the whole song just the way she's delivering the lines i'm like damn this is just too good bruh um i mean she's doing she's doing pretty much anything she wants on here um yeah i love the verses like have there's times where it almost feels like she's just talking but uh i don't know it's just everything she's doing is really well she just sounds great on here i love this instrumental um this a song like this based off this instrumental is just right up my alley uh I like how she said pretty boys too <laughs> it's like a, you know calling someone a pretty boy that's like hmm okay you know um but man i don't know if there is a live stage if there isn't yet Hopefully one day there will be. Uh, this one, I really like this one. I know I said, you know, uh, before anyone else and luck to you um, might be my favorites. This one, I'm just going to clearly say, because of just the sound and everything, because of how good she is on it, this one's my favorite so far. Yeah, for sure. Okay, last song on the album, Vacay, let's go. Sounded like something right there. Here with me 
지밤이되면거짓말을라이브한호를것같은모은프라이상상보다좋아너와함께서우리지만Okay. Okay, closing song. Um, I kept thinking, I was like, damn, what does this sound like? And then I think I, at the end of the day, maybe, I was like, this reminds me of something from Eyes One, but I can't remember the exact song. Maybe it's just the sound of it reminds me of Eyes One. <laughs> it makes sense, you know? But yeah, I was definitely like, uh, I think after the first chorus, I was like, what does this sound like? It sounds like her, pretty much. Um... She, okay, this song, it's probably ranked number five. If I were to rank all the songs, this one ranks number five for me personally, at least on first listen. I mean, it's good, you know, it's a good song. I like the lyrics. I love the meaning of, like, you know, you know, when you're tired, when you're stressed, when, you know, you need to take a vacation. Um, so I get all that. I love the meaning and the sentiment of the song. This was the first one where I was just sort of just vibing with it, you know, just going with it. Um, good song, but for me, it ranks number five. Um, but it did, for some reason, like, give me this sentimental, like, reminder of, like, Eyes One. This feels like a song that, like, if you throw on the other 11 members, this could be an Eyes One song, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, but one thing I definitely have to mention. Okay, now we're just going to talk about the album as a whole. Yo. She was on fire throughout this album. And now, you know, hearing this last song and really sort of just thinking about it, I mentioned, I think maybe before, that each of the members so far that have had solo releases where, you know, Unbi, um, Yuri, Heiwon, uh, now Yena, each of them you know, have their own distinct, not just sound, but like feel, mood, and color, you know, and they're doing things that, you know, represents them. I really feel that way. Um, you know, Heiwon's not going to be able to do everything Yana can do, so she's going to do what she's good at, you know. Yana, to me, is just doing pretty much anything she wants because that's what she can really do. She can sing, she can rap, um, obviously we know she can dance. Um, I don't even know, but I think maybe she had a hand in the lyrics or something like that. So she's just, and even just her personality, um, taken into account, uh, all that is coming through on this album. And, um, of all the solo releases, as far as like kind of mini albums or whatever, this one might be my favorite, bro. Like, every single song is really good. Every single song uh, just has its own feel. Maybe the two closest ones that are kind of similar are Smiley and Luck to You. But then, you know, Pretty Boys, This, Vacay, Before Anyone Else, all that. Um, there's a lot going on, and she just does it all really well in her own way. Um, you know? I'm not even being biased here. Um, this one probably is my favorite album so far. From like, you know, an Eyes One member dropping a solo piece. Um, dude, I loved it. I loved it. My top three songs. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Because they're all really good. Um, number one. Let's just put Pretty Boys number one just because I love that. Just this. As a song, I think it's so good. Number two. Mm, number two. We'll just tie them. Smiley and luck to you. They take a tie, okay? Yes, I can do that. And number three, I'll put before anyone else. Um, 
yeah, like I said, VK is probably number four in that sense. Um, yeah, I love, you know, Smiley and Luck to You as like a one-two sort of combo. Uh, Before Anyone Else is such a great way to start off the album, and it's super just different compared to everything else on here. It's like just the mood of it, the lyrics and everything. Um, yeah, uh, Pretty Boys. Just love it as a song. It's right up my alley. And Vacay's good, and I know it's going to grow on me. But again, I'm just super impressed with her. I think um, she really showed and proved, like, you know, why she deserves to be a solo artist. And between the music video for Smiley and the album and everything, and I haven't, I haven't even seen the live stages yet. This is all just really well put together, everything about it. Uh, it took a while, but here we go. You know, it's on now. Uh, and I think from here on out, just, you know, wherever she wants to go, she's going to go. I really enjoyed this, man. I really did. Super proud of her, too. You know, loved her, uh, in Eyes One, when I went back and watched Produce, loved her even more, and ever since then, you know, she's just been one of my favorite people in all the K-pop, just personality alone, and it's really cool to see her solo career, her solo, you know, just artist work really doing well here and i hope it does really well you know, in the coming weeks and everything uh yeah man love this love this best wishes to my girl you know i think she's gonna kill it she's already killing it you know so yeah now i can't wait to check out those live stages uh maybe even the whole showcase if it gets subbed i'll probably do a whole reaction to that on the patreon till then i'm gonna keep listening to this album you know yeah and you should too all right That'll do it for this reaction, guys. Hope you enjoyed. As always, peace, love, have a blessed day. See you next time.